conservative new media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal. I've got an interesting uh, science and technology and transportation uh, news story here. And that is that um, Japan is going to be developing, it seems, according to a report, a maglev train that is going to connect Nagoya with uh, Tokyo, that's around a 200 plus mile uh, distance, depending on the, the, the way the, tr the train uh, line goes, uh, distance. And uh, it looks like this is going to come online in 2027 with a maglev train. This maglev train is supposed to go, that's magnetic levitation, meaning that there's no tracks. I'm going to get into that in, in, in just a bit here, so hold on to that. Um, and it's supposed to, to be able to travel in speeds in excess of 310 miles per hour. That is unbelievably fast in my personal opinion. So you're talking about some serious, serious, serious speed there. Now Japan obviously has a lot of high speed trains, uh, you know, high speed rail systems. When this train comes online, it's supposed to be able to make the trip in 40 minutes. Think about that. Think about being able to go uh, around 200 miles in 40 minutes and being able to, you know, sit down comfortably and see the scenic, you know, route and, and the whole nine yards. I mean, think about that. That's pretty amazing. Now, let's talk about magnetic levitation. What I'm actually showing you here, for those of you that may have noticed, this actually is... A, a train in China. What you're seeing is a uh, the Shanghai Maglev uh, SMT, the Shanghai Maglev train. It's in Shanghai. This is outside the airport there, and it's actually a, a magnetic levitation train, and it operates uh, um, at 311 miles an hour. So you're talking about a, a seems like a similar speed to what the proposed one in uh, Japan is is going to be. Um, and as you can see here by this picture, and I wanted to show you this, there's, there's no tr rail tracks there so as, as a conventional train. It's actually being, it's actually, you know, being um, uh, levitated above by, you know, uh, magnetic forces. So it de never actually, there's no tracks that it actually even touches or whatnot. So it's being, uh, you know, pushed along by this, you know, electromagnetic forces. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. I wanted to show you this so you can actually see a real maglev train. Now, what's the you know uh, uh, Japanese model going to look like? I'm not sure about that yet. But I again, I want to get your comments on this. I mean, would you be excited for a train like this? Would you want to ride on one? Now, interesting enough, uh, the maker of this train, the JR Tokai, uh, has made uh, holds the the record, the world record, I believe, for the uh, maximum speed ever achieved in a train, and it was using maglev technology for, for that, and now uh, this was uh, done by the JR Maglev ML X01, and I believe it achieved a top speed of 361 miles per hour, which is just unbelievable, and I think that was done in 2003. So, I mean, who knows what the what the top speed of this uh, um, uh, new train they're developing actually will be when it's finally rolled out. So what do you make of this? Would you, again, i got to ask you, would you want to ride on a maglev train? Would you want to go over 300 miles an hour in a train? Uh, look, I would. I think it'd be really cool. I like this maglev technology. I think it's the future. I think this train is cool. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it comes out. You know, I hope to ride on one of these uh, uh, high-speed maglev trains at some point. What's your take on it? Do you think it's cool? Would you, again, would you want to ride on, on it? And what do you think is the next step? What's next? I mean, these trains get faster and they seem to get better. I love it. I love the technology. I love the science. I love all this type of transportation stuff. Tell me where you're at on this. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Valero, the four-time national champion and the super genius. Please rate this video up. Also, please post to your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.